Hi, I'm Mark. I'm from the ARC Center of Excellence for Electromaterial Science and the School of Chemistry in the Faculty of Science at the University of Wollongong. Now imagine you have an accident while out surfing or doing any other activity and you get a damage to your spinal cord. The spinal cord is the bit that connects your brain and sends signals down your back and controls how your arms move, how you speak, how you walk and very many other functions in the body. Now imagine you have a problem with that. So it's actually cut by an injury, which means the signals are not coming through and you cannot walk anymore. What you need in order to fix that is a material which is very similar to a, your uh, spinal cord, which is a hydrogel. Now, up until recently, people can make hydrogels that actually feel like your spinal cord and feel like most things in your body but they cannot recover in the same way. If you look at your own body and you look at your arm, you can squeeze this and it can actually recover. You can put force on this and it will come back. Now, what we've done at the University of Wollongong, we have developed a tough hydrogel that is not only very strong, but can also recover from damage. And that means that these materials can be used in the future for applications in bionics, such as spinal cord repair or even tissue engineering. Now, you may think, how do we make these hydrogels? And that's actually a very simple, straightforward process, which I'm going to demonstrate now. What I need is a highly sophisticated spatula, otherwise known as a spoon from a takeaway coffee store. I need some white powder, which is the polymer, which we use to hold the water together. I obviously need some water, which I've conveniently colored for you using a food dye. And what I'll do is I'll spoon some of this powder into this cup and then I'm going to stir it to form the hydrogel. Now, this process is exactly the same as we do it in a laboratory, obviously with different materials, but the concept is the same. By stirring it, I'm going to cause the hydrogel to form. And if you focus on the, on the little cup, you'll see that it will get harder and harder to stir as the gel is being formed. And you can see I now have to stir quite vigorously to get it around. And eventually what we've done, we've created a material that is solidified into a hydrogel material. And it's a very efficient way of holding all the water in. This is pretty much 99% water. And materials similar like this, we have developed at the University of Wollongong for future applications in bionics and tissue engineering and also soft robotics.